Hey guys, welcome to Pokey Design. This is a brand new design segment for the channel. Most of you who've been subscribed up until now will know that I've mentioned several times that I wanted to do a design series, and this is it. So Pokey Design will be a segment intersected possibly midweek or weekend, depending on how my upload schedule goes right now videos are still Wednesdays and Fridays every week. What I hope to do with this mini-series within a series is talk about different elements of Pokemon Go based around the design of it. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you in today's episode I'm going to be showing you guys some rough sketched or design ideas that I've drawn up myself in terms of how I think Pokemon Go could have been made better. Okay, so one of the things that I realized in terms of Pokemon Go is visual style wise, I realized that I think it could be a little bit more in line with the Pokemon universe, especially relating to the original series. So what I've done is I've put together three images that are examples of basically what I think Pokemon Go could look like or could have looked like because we don't know if along the line they will decide to make some changes. But if you look over here on the side of the, on this side of the screen you can see an image that I've designed. This would essentially be the login screen. Um, when you're opening the app for Pokemon Go this would be the first thing that you see and you would tap login obviously and it would take you to the next page which has all the sign in information these are rough and what I hope to do is have more episodes for Poke Design and basically show you all the different elements of a complete of essentially Pokemon Go how I would design it so that's the first image let's move on to the second one so this next image that I'm about to show you is pretty much the quintessential flux capacitor for this whole design thing and what it's all about tracking so here it is my design for tracking you can see it there on the right side of the screen or the left side depending on how it orientates but basically you can see that I've employed what would be, um, what would be the original player sprites from the original Pokemon Go franchise I've also added some other elements. So here's an example of a Google Map style radar. And the way it would work is the button in the in the center of the screen at the very bottom, the red one, you would tap that and that would essentially scan the area for any Pokemon nearby. Once a Pokemon nearby has been located, you'll see the black arrow begin to indicate which direction you need to move. To be perfectly honest with you guys, this would not change a thing, and here's why. If you look again at the image that I've created right here, this would simply enhance the current experience in Pokemon Go. The tracker would not be pinpoint. The tracker would at least point you in a general direction, and then the, the, the radar, which you can see the circle around the sprite, would be sort of a blip. And you can see here Charmander is being discovered by the radar as it passes over the Pokemon, he begins to become more visible. This is kind of my concept as to how I think tracking could work. So you would leave your house, step out, hit the scan button, and immediately it would begin to tell you, okay, you need to go that way to be able to find the Pokemon you're looking for. But the chances of whether or not you get to that Pokemon at that time you won't know. There'll be no spawn timers, no counters, nothing. It's all by ear. Acoustics, I guess. So that's kind of my idea for how the track would work. Let's move on to the next image. 
So, for the final image that I want to show you guys for this Pokey Design segment is the enter screen right here on my right. This screen, I'm still debating how exactly it's going to work, but what my goal is is to create something that would be a immersive experience so that when you're about to jump into Pokemon Go, you feel the way you did in the nine in 1989, 19, 1999, to feel the same way you did in 1998 when Pokemon Red and Blue were the two biggest games that you could play at the time. I want to bring that experience which I grew up with into Pokemon Go. So this design series is going to have that kind of template. That's kind of it for the final image guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments about the designs, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Also I've left a description. I've left links in the description for you guys to check out uh, the full Behance kind of profile of this um, UI design for you guys to check out. That's it for this week guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you have any other questions that are unrelated to Pokemon Go or you just need somebody to talk to, please feel free to drop your comment in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, smash that like button and also subscribe if you're new. New videos every Wednesday and Friday. Till Friday, God bless.